Bird Pony. Hope you enjoyed this time lapse video for the carrot top painting right here. Uh, one of the mini background characters from My Little Pony. Uh, pretty awesome. I had a fun time working on this. Uh, so this painting right here was requested by a viewer, and her name is Rachel, so I really do appreciate that. Uh, she actually requested two ponies, a uh, carrot top here, and the other one she requested was for Queen Chrysalis. Uh, so this is the image I'm going to be using for her. Uh, this one, this time will be up next week, so look forward to seeing that. I'm going to have a really fun time working on this one for sure. It's a much, it's a, her body design is much different than the average pony, so I'm looking forward to working on this. Uh, so this is going to be awesome, so look forward to that time lapse for sure. Uh, but that's that, so I would, do like to, I would like to thank Rachel for these two requests. I'm going to have a fun time working on uh, Queen Chrysalis, and I have a fun time working on this one for sure. Uh, but yeah, to get into the painting here, for the background, I went with a nice turquoise color, which I feel like really makes the orange of Keratop's mane just pop, which looks awesome. Uh, so now if you've seen some of my earlier My Little Pony time lapses, such as Luna, Rainbow Dash, and Fluttershy, uh, the backgrounds for those three are white, uh, compared to Big Macintosh, where that background was electric blue. Uh, so now I like using white because it's a nice neutral color, it doesn't take away much from the character, which works really well. Uh, but I think the turquoise worked uh, great for Carrot Top here. It's like not distracting, and it's just the perfect color to give enough contrast to her mane to make it pop, like I said. So, pretty awesome there. Uh, so now I do want to mention now about her mane, is you may notice that the outline is slightly darker, and I tried to match that as best I could to the actual uh, character design. So, I it's hard to find like different shades that are slightly darker than Duck Brands, but I learned a cool little trick uh, that to use when you're doing designs. If there's like a certain shade that you don't that Duck Brand doesn't have, uh, some of you may already have thought about this, but I'll put it out there. Uh, Scotch Brand or Scotch actually ha uh, makes their own duct tape. If you didn't know, which you, a lot of you probably do. Uh, but a lot of their colors are slightly different shades than Duck Brands. So right here I have the Duck Brand, Sco uh, Duck Brand Orange and Scotch Orange, and you can see that the Scotch Orange is slightly darker than the Duck Brand, which is awesome, and it worked perfectly for Carrot Top's mane. So that's a cool tip. If you're looking for like different shades of tape that Duck Brand doesn't have, Scotch might just have them for you. So say you're looking for like a lighter lime green, uh, Scotch also has that. You can see that right here, which is awesome. I also use this color right here in this painting. Uh, you can't really see it too well on camera, but part of the little green pieces right there in her eye, the bottom color, is that green. So it worked out perfectly for her eye color there. So seriously awesome colors that uh, Scotch has. I mean, the material is okay. It's a little thin, so when you put it over top of a darker background, uh, the dark color kind of shines through the tape because it's so thin, but it works perfectly for like a darker shades next to lighter if you need it. So pretty awesome right there. Uh, so move on from her mane. Uh, for her body, I used the pastel yellow, which I think worked out pretty well. From what I've looked at the character, and I may be wrong, it seems like she has a slight orangish hue to her uh, body tone, but I might be wrong on that. Don't hold me to that. That's that's just what I see when I look at the actual character image, but I might be wrong. Uh, and then for the outline, I went with the cookie dough beige, which I think matched the actual outline used on the uh, character design uh, to almost to a T. I think it's a little bit of a different shade, but I think it worked out pretty well. So I really like that. And then you can see we got our cutie mark right here, just a bushel of carrots. Well, not really a bushel, just three carrots and everything right there, which is pretty awesome. Actually, that was a little bit tricky to work on because it's so small to get the detail into like the, the leaf part of the carrot, but still pretty awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this painting. I think it turned out great. I mean, there's some pieces that could that are a little bit off, because uh, it's kind of hard with our curls to get them lined up and everything. But I think it, it came out pretty decent. Let me know what you guys think in any comments below with some feedback. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but I think that's yeah. pretty much going to wrap things up here for this Carrot Top time lapse. Do hope you guys enjoyed, and once again, thank you to Rachel for these two requests uh, for Carrot Top and Queen Chrysalis. Hope you guys will look forward to seeing Chrysalis next week on Monday, so it'll be pretty awesome. Uh, before I sign up here, there's some other stuff I want to show you, which are the other My Little Pony things I've done. So the first one I'm going to show you here is for Rainbow Dash, which is not really cool. That's the latest one I've done right before Carrot Top here. The uh, next one is Princess Luna, and fun fact about this one, this is actually what got me into watching My Little Pony, so... Uh, this painting is actually the cause of me becoming a brony, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so right here we got Big Macintosh, the only other painting besides Carrot Top here that has a different colored background, and my all-time favorite one that I've done so far, Fluttershy. Uh, so now the only reason I think this is my, I think the only reason this is my favorite one is because Fluttershy is best pony in my opinion, but that's just what I think. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the my little pony paintings I've done. So hope you guys will. Uh, 
enjoy those time lapses. Uh, actually, before we get into that, um, annotations will be on the top of the screen. Uh, check out this video. So, I do hope you guys will enjoy seeing them, is what I was going to say. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap things up for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. And if you could please leave a like, I really appreciate that. Uh, but, yeah, definitely gonna, that's definitely going to be it here for sure. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, just enjoy the one that is duct tape.